Hello everybody, this is our 2015 Winnebago Micro Mini 1706FB and uh, I'm gonna show you how it's holding up after four years of pretty heavy use and 30,000 miles on the road. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV wherever I want to be. Cause I'm free in my RV yeah. uh, First of all I apologize, it's still a little bit dirty with being here at the Florida Keys Very nice uh, campground, although not, not perfect and very very expensive but anyways, it, you know it's it's aging pretty well. It, uh, I had to remove some of the some of the decals on this side because, as you can see, and I left this one to show you it. It's kind of there's some kind of discoloration or coloration, <laughs> rather, and um, I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm gonna do something different, maybe something to match my new truck. I don't know. Uh, and I forgot to turn off my patio lights. By the way, that's an uh, I, I replaced the original incandescent with an LED. It has these two outside speakers, which are not very good. I, I've never used them really. And um, it has these awning style windows, which everybody seems to like because you can open them up, leave them open, even when it's raining. But you never feel like they're really open. And that's something that, that to me, it's, uh, I would like to, a window that I could stick my head out of, you know, that kind of thing. And, and the tints are very dark, so sometimes it is, um, you know, you don't really feel like you are, are out, outdoors uh, when you're inside, which you're not. That didn't make any sense. Anyway, uh, here we go. We, we got this electric awning, which is pretty cool. Let me show you how it works. And, uh, there we go. Yeah, it rained earlier, so we don't we don't really use the awning all that much, to be honest. It comes with the with the four jacks. With we're only here for one day, so I didn't even bother uh, putting them down. It comes with a, with a propane outlet here for a, for a grill. We never use that. And uh, let me come to the front. I replaced the original Wanabago shield with my own decal because the Wanabago shield it wasn't uh, aging all that well. Uh, here we have uh, two tanks, uh, two 20 pound tanks of propane, electric uh, jack. It, it didn't come with it, but after I saw the guy uh, at the dealership going up and down with this thing, I told him, hmm, how much is that electric jack you were offering earlier? that the battery I replaced the original interstate battery with an AGM which it's marginally better it's not all that much better but it's good now let me come here to the service side by the way very odd placement of the of the septic here on this campground very very close to the front I mean it's weird before I continue to the other side let me show you uh, our basement here or garage no it's basement really it's a, it's a storage it's a storage area very very large storage it's one of the nice things about having this uh, these travel trailers and I have I have all, all kinds of junk down here even though I, I have downsized a little bit even here in the RV so that's pretty cool Ooh, from the quarter two quarters and the washer hmm interesting okay as I was saying the, on the here on the service side uh, we have another entrance to our to our uh, basement storage and this is one of the main upgrades that I've done to Minitini the trailer here by the way Minitini is the name I did the decal here I'm a little ADD today <laughs> bear with me I, I upgraded it, it came with a very uh, awful um, water heater by Atwood the Atwood on demand and I replaced that with a Truma Aquago and it's a life changer it's, it's, a, it's a great unit here we have um, electricity, uh, um, gravity fill, our city water, park cable and satellite hookup that I have never used. And, uh, and the, the gray and water, the, the gray and black water tanks are 25 uh, gallons each, which is pretty respectable. And if, if memory serves, it is 32 or 35 for fresh water, which is really good. It came with a, with a two axle, which is very good. This is the, the rear of our refrigerator and I apologize, it is a little dirty. Uh, it is what it is, you know. I had to replace most of these little caps. They they really disintegrated in the South Florida sun, 
So I had to, I have, I, I, periodically I have to replace some of this stuff here, like this one, you see? The one for the, this is a, a brand new cap. This is, this is a, a black water flush, by the way. Here are black and gray water valves, which one negative about them is they're a little too low to the ground. So sometimes you don't get enough, uh, you know, enough of a slope for gravity to do its, its thing. And that's, sometimes that's inconvenient. Here we go, coming to the back of the rig. I have a bunch of stickers here. A lot of them from uh, fellow YouTubers and uh, RVers and a lot of them, you know, places we've been. Even places we haven't even been with this trailer like Nordcap and Finland, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And that's my logo there. By the way, one great thing about this unit, uh, most of the lights are LEDs, so that's, that's really cool. I'm trying to think what else, you know, I had to replace this uh, thing too here, although we've never used it, it was this, I had disintegrated completely. And here we have the power outlet. Uh, okay, one consistent probably that I've had is this tire here, which seems to wear out faster than the rest. You know, it starts wearing out on the side. So I have, but no, but I haven't been able to, to fix it uh, anywhere. So what I've been doing every six or every 10,000 miles or so or less, I, I just replace the tire when I, when I see it uh, wearing out and more than the rest. And the same, uh, the same thing happens with this tire here to a much less degree. Now let's uh, let's uh, climb on the roof because I've done some some uh, upgrades here to the roof as well. And uh, let's go up this ladder here. And even though it is November, we still have the AC on because South Florida, you know, we're, we're here in the tropics. First addition that I did was this uh, guy here which is a fantastic vent and it's the one with the remote control, you know, that has the temperature control and a rain sensor, top of the line unit. Uh, the remote doesn't quite work as well as it used to, but it works. And here we have, which I need to clean as well. That's a 100 watt solar panel, which I basically installed it originally, so I wouldn't have to disconnect my battery when I got home. Uh, so, and and it, it keeps for the most part, the battery charge if you get a sunny day it pretty much it charges the, the battery pretty well although I'm thinking of putting another solar panel probably back here somewhere I think that's a that right there is a Wi-Fi Ranger to get Wi-Fi and this here is an antenna for our we boost uh, for, for cellular connection now I think I'm going to show you inside because I think I've shown you all the outside stuff that I've done. Oh, and stick around till the end of the video because I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the new truck here. Uh, the, the Chevy Colorado 27, 2019. Alright, let me show you inside our humble home here. And, uh, you know, it's... Um, actually, let me... We might uh, feel the heat a little bit, but, uh, you know, I'm gonna turn off the air conditioner for a couple of minutes here so I can show you around and you turn on some of these lights which by the way one great thing about this rv all the lights uh, were led from factory so they don't they don't use a lot of energy very energy efficient which is good and all of them were like this except this one which i uh, I installed because I'll let you know here we have our stereo which we don't use all that much but sometimes we do especially the the Bluetooth functionality I did replace the speakers the speakers uh, the factory speakers were really bad and I got this uh, Seren in Vegas and they sound good okay I'm gonna be begin here clockwise and show you everything that we've done this is our um, control panel here the light for the lights for the outside and this one you can control from here too you can go here or here uh, this is our awning power here's our tanks gray black fresh everything seems to be full and the battery water pump when you need it right now we have full hookups so we don't really need the water pump and the water that turns on and off the truma aqua go uh, water heater here we have some storage you know some stuff i have even an, an inverter here you know 
a first aid kit. It's been a, a work in progress. Uh, the, 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 the storage here we have another storage unit where we have our like our sandals, uh, hiking shoes, cleaning, you know, stuff like broom and, and Swiffer and all that. And then this closet here, this wasn't here originally uh, uh, when we bought a mini teeny. This used to be where the TV used to live, it used to be uh, right here. And uh, I removed uh, some of the cabinetry and made it into a hanging closet, which is, uh, you know, wardrobe closet. It didn't come with a wardrobe closet uh, originally. And this is the location where I have my WeBoost um, uh, cell, cell phone signal uh, uh, amplifier. And, uh, and that actually I used uh, the same uh, the same coaxial cable that uh, that the TV antenna used. So I didn't have to uh, wouldn't have to open a new hole on the roof here we have some power and uh, here we have a 12 volt power that I have it going somewhere else down here all kinds of junk you know mostly a uh, uh, mosquito deterrent and uh, and you know glue and uh, you know all kinds of stuff uh, my air compressor cleaning supplies and down there I usually have like sometimes the cameras and uh, and the tripod and uh, that's it now let me show you our uh, uh, rather tiny bathroom but it's it's very adequate uh, i mean it's it's uh, we have regular you know it's that that cheap type of plastic uh, toilet but it's fine it works okay here's our shower uh, which i replaced it with a an oxygenics uh, oh i forgot to show you the outside shower but anyways that's the oxygenics and i had to buy a second oxygenics so i could put this hook here because uh, I'm 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 not a tall person, but this is probably five feet high, if if not less. So it was uncomfortable for me to, to have the shower here. So I came up with this solution, and sometimes it works. And there I can have my shower up there, which is very convenient for me when I want to, you know, have a, a you know hands-free operation. Here we have a hook that that we put, and. Um, yeah, down there we have the cleaning for the toilet and a small, uh, uh, you know, stepping stool. Here we, are. here we have another light in the bathroom, by the way. And uh, here's our medicine cabinet. This I installed also, which is a dispenser for shower gel, conditioner and shampoo. And uh, this I installed too, is a, you know, paper towel dispenser because you need that. It didn't come with it. And then here you have storage, you know. I, I opted not to put the toilet paper... Um, dispenser because it would be too bulky and take too much room here so we just keep the toilet paper down there and and hair dryer and other stuff this is a mirror that i installed it's not the greatest mirror eventually i, I might upgrade to something better this did come with the trailer so what else do we have here in the next this is the thermostat for the furnace which at some point I wanna I want to upgrade to one where you can actually set the temperature. This one is like you set the temperature down here is like, uh, you know you don't you don't have any 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 readings, so that's uh, I think. And this is the remote control for the fantastic vent, which you see sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I have to I have to fix that. That's one thing that has me worried that one day it's just going to quit on me. But there you go. I have to clean this. Filter. You know, b b b before the great trip to the west in in February, I'm going to clean all this stuff. Let's turn it off. The way it does have a rain sensor, so it'll st it'll, it'll close uh, down if it starts raining. Here we have some. You know, th this was actually meant for the the shower, but it didn't work out, so I glued it to the wall with some Velcro, and we have all you know all kinds of storage there. Here's our sink. Double sink, this thing that goes comes out. It's pretty cool. It's a, it's a little on the smallish side, but well, it, it is what it is. What can you do, right? Uh, I also added this uh, paper towel dispenser and this uh, spice rack, which this was a very short trip here, just uh, one night, so I didn't bring any spices because I'm, I, I'm not really going to do any cooking. Besides, here in the Keys, there are so many nice restaurants that sometimes... Here, here, this is a little underutilized um, storage area. I usually have some, like, in this box, I have spices and uh, olive oil and all that good stuff. And then, um, yeah, that's that. Here's our hood. It does come with a light that it's not very great. And it comes with a fan. And here's our three burner uh, Atwood range, which works well. You know, it's good. 
Uh, at some point I would have preferred perhaps uh, to have an oven down here instead of the storage, but the storage is good. Here's our, our pots and pans. Kind of messy. Oh, down here we have our cleaning supplies and you know the the, the blue li the blue stuff for the toilet and all that. And here this was another addition that I made. I added this um, a garbage bag, gar bag garbage can, uh, because it didn't come with it. And down there we have more cleaning supplies and stuff and all that. This up here was a useless. Uh, space so I added we added this uh, this cargo net here so it's like a cupboard now and up here let me let me show you behind it back there it's our Wi-Fi Ranger router and there is the the controller for our solar panel which charges our 120 watt uh, um, amp hour battery and this is sometimes a 200 operation up here we, we keep like coffee and sugar and uh, and and uh, you know cups and plates and all that stuff we, we usually use uh, like like uh, disposable uh, plates and, and and you know utensils here because it's because you know it's more convenient sometimes and here's our refrigerator is your standard you know uh, domestic I'm sorry, it's, it's trying to close itself because we are not in exactly level here. We don't have anything in the freezer, but that's the freezer and the... You know, it's it's fine. It works okay. And that's our furnace. And here's our electrical panel. And this down here is an outlet that I added. This is actually connected to an inverter, which is back there. And there's a 2000 watt inverter that, you know, we can use for almost... Uh, everything except for the microwave and the air conditioner the air conditioner here is the you know regular domestic uh, penguin whatever it's lo it's loud of course and i'm gonna turn it on real quick because it's getting hot in here i hope you can hear me okay Whew. now let me show you this side and what is this you might ask well this used to be a, a dinette you know a regular booth dinette like most rvs have which is it it it, it uses a lot of space first of all that's the one thing I didn't like about it and, uh, and you know when when you removed it it came all the way here so all you had was this little narrow passageway going back and forth and we, I, I, and I wanted to have more desk space you know this is my side that's Illich side and eventually what we want to do if we full-time or, or at least part-time it's for us, for us to both be able to work and uh, having it in this place we also get a view of the outside, which in this case is that giant fifth wheel. Let me turn this back off because I, I, I know it's, it's loud. So this this will be his and hers uh, desks uh, stations. And down there I have two power strips. And I usually divide this stuff into like uh, uh, when, especially when I'm using the when I'm using the inverter, I divide them like essentials and non-essentials. So sometimes I want to save power and I. I uh, the only one that I have on is the one that is charging like the phones and stuff like that. And uh, this is the our WeBoost uh, repeater and these are some USB uh, outlets that are coming from from the from the from the 12 volt outlet that I showed you in the closet. And uh, here we have this and her chairs. This is this cable comes from the inverter and uh, it comes here and when whenever I want to use the inverter I just unplug this from the regular power. And plug them here so I'll have inverted power while I'm boondocking on those two outlets up here we have more storage here it's kind of empty right now but we usually have towels and here we have, we have when we have, when we need like, when we are like long-term traveling I put my water bottles here this is the crank up crank up antenna that right now the only thing it is, is, is I use it for the for the Wii boost here we have our dirty laundry and the extra supplies like toilet paper and paper towels and uh, here's our privacy curtain. You know, what? sometimes I'm working out here and Ely is, uh, wants, to, wants to snooze or vice versa. We can do that. Um, down here we have uh, two drawers, which, uh, you know, it's usually for like uh, underwear and, uh, and, you know, clothes. And up here, more storage. So yes, as you can see, we have a lot of storage up here. I have, you know, usually keep the drone and my recording supplies all kinds of stuff and here more stuff some you know, 
it's uh, it's random stuff really that's our emergency exit this is uh, you know to, to hang the you know our, our wet towels or what have you uh, some other clothes what else do we have uh, f uh, you know fire alarm that by law you have to have it and here's our, our states map right here oh this these three hooks I also added that's um, an addition to, uh, that, to do the RV that I made and I think this is it this is um, I think I've shown you uh, I've shown you all the the stuff oh let me show you the stuff that uh, <laughs> just remember last but not least the stuff that is not really holding up and maybe I need to turn off this light to show you this thing, thing here it's, it's a little crack you know it's like maybe a, 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 one of those bumps on the road either in Indiana or in the Arizona desert that you know it's correct now down here and this is the main problem with this RV this is really particle board underneath so where, wherever there is water and particle board you tend to you know it tends to warp and that's that's one of the few uh, you know oh, by the way this is a manual I'll show you that this is one of the few problems the main one is this one because sometimes you know it floods and down here this is disintegrated this is really like at some point you see it's not wood it's like almost like cardboard it's crazy that they will put something that that flimsy in a place that regularly it's gonna get wet if not at least damp you know this is the bathroom so um, that's the main thing that it's not really holding up all that well and I forgot to mention these tables from IKEA I installed it first I, I, I installed this this um, it's a, it's a baseboard because you know these walls are kind of flimsy it's, uh, this is what they call laminate walls which is not really like like drywall this is much um, uh, thinner you know l l thinner material so that's what I did and then you know I, I installed them on the there and and down and this used to be the wheel well so I, I used uh, some of my incipient uh, woodworking skills uh, to build uh, that and uh, here of course I have a, an audio interface to record my voiceovers when I'm on the road and um, and when we are traveling I just you know stick this table the, 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 the chair all the way to the tables and I usually put this chair on the bed and then we have a bungee cord here that I just put like so and we are safe and secure and I usually also which I'm not gonna do that but because this actually I'm gonna do it on this one because these tables do go down I usually lower the tables so so it's less stress you know less stress when we are on the road and it can get bumpy anyways that's that's our Winnebago Micro Mini a little overdue this review because we actually got it in September of 2014 and right now it's November 2018 so after four years and two months as always uh, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road actually as soon as we get home I'm gonna give you a review of our new Colorado so stay tuned till the end of the video for that well we're not in Florida anymore that's for sure and uh, I was about to publish this video and I forgot but I forgot to mention one thing. If I forget that I forget, doesn't that mean I remembered? But well, I remembered that I forgot, never mind, to mention something here in Minitini that it's one of those things that it's not gonna be easy to, to fix and it's kind of annoying. And those are my tank sensors. You see, I just dumped my black water when I left at the previous campground and see, still spritz two thirds. I did dump my gray. Well, the gray, the gray reads fine now, and uh, the fresh, it, it reads okay now, and the battery is full. But the point is that they are very inaccurate, and that is something that is not easy to to fix. The only solution would be to to add those sensors that are like you know have the, like a radar, like a sonar kind of technology. But for that, I will have to remove the underbelly of Minitini, and you know what? That is not something. I am looking forward to doing so. For now, uh, 
determining how much water you really have or how much uh, uh, poop you have, um, it's going to be a guessing game uh, unless we come up with another solution. Okay, one last upgrade that I had totally forgotten to mention, and thank you, Herbie, uh, for pointing this one out. And Herbie, of course, is a member of the growing Patreon community. And um, what I forgot to mention is the, the soft start system that I got for my air conditioner. I got that in conjunction with, uh, with a smaller generator, and that's the thing, you know, uh, with the soft start, I can run the AC with a much smaller generator, and that's a good thing. Anyways, now through the magic of television, let's go back to Florida. And as promised, I am going to do a bit of, kind of like a review of, uh, of the new truck here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to a nice, a beautiful place here in South Florida so I can show you the rest of the truck, you know, show you around the truck. I figured I'd come to a nice place to show you the, the new truck. Uh, this is Madison Park here. We have a view of downtown Miami back there and uh, it's in the ritzy part of town. Uh, I actually forgot, it costs money to come here. It's only five bucks though. Uh, well, this is the, the new uh, Chevy Colorado and, and um, it is the V6 model LT trim. Uh, you know, I wanted to get the 4x4 diesel Duramax and all that and then reality kicked in and I'm like, I don't really need all that much and uh, I didn't want to spend like a whole lot of, of money in it. I mean, as it, as it is, it is probably the most expensive thing I've bought uh, besides the house, uh, really. So this is it, it's Chevy Colorado, let me go around it. It's very nice, not my preferred color at the beginning, but uh, it's really, really growing on me. And by the way, uh, you guys have been asking about uh, the name. Nothing has really stuck. A lot of people said Rocky, but Rocky doesn't really resonate with me all that much. I was thinking Denver the truck, but Denver doesn't really mean anything to me. I mean, besides, it's a, a nice city. So we're gonna wait, and I'm gonna wait until something really sticks, and then we'll, we'll, we'll name it. For now, I'm just gonna call it the Colorado. And as you can see, the paint job is kind of strange because it depends how the sun hits it. It can look kind of green, or sometimes it looks a lot darker, you know. It's uh, it's kind of weird. Weird thing here that the gas doesn't really have a cap. It just has this thing that you you know push down. Push by, by the way, um, I just did a car wash, and right on cue, right as I was leaving the car wash place, bam! Big bird poop in my hood. Luckily, I had some some microfiber cloth and uh, some water, and I cleaned it up. I got this uh, tonneau cover, very nice, very sturdy and uh, it's, it's a solid fold by X-Tank, solid fold 2.0 very very nice I like it a lot actually let's let's open it up see if it leaked at all uh, after that car wash which I haven't checked so we're gonna check it together and uh, there you go there's the there's the banana boat let's actually open it up it's really easy to open let's fold it there and uh, here, sometimes it is a two-handed operation, it's very easy. And then you go banged and wakata, and it is open. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let me close it back up. Very nice. There were other uh, choices to see it. This is the banana boat, by the way. And I put this, I didn't want to put a bed liner, so I put this this rug, this mat. It's a rubber mat, so things, things don't slide. Let me put this back down. You see, this one, it just, hold on. This is almost like a two-handed operation. It's hard to do it with your camera in your hand. There you go, you just clamp it there. And on this side, same thing. You just come and clamp it there on the metal, and that's it. You don't have to be, like, screwing anything up. On. Very nice truck came with this uh, soft, uh, soft down, and I forgot what it's called on the lift gate. It has cameras and sensors everywhere. Uh, this truck because it came with the, the 
which I didn't really need it or want it, but in order to get the integrated brake controller, they made me go with a with a higher package that has all these parking sensors. I mean, the camera is standard nowadays, and it also has lane departure and uh, and collision alert and all that good stuff. Let's go around here. By the way, it does not come with uh, with towing mirrors. For now, I'm gonna use my own. Although eventually they sell some mirrors that almost look like factory, but they're they're 600 bucks. So I'm going to wait on those. <laughs> it did come with tents, which is all something that I didn't expect. I, I didn't really want it uh, to have tents because if if you're filming on the road, you know, it, it, it it's, colors are gonna shift through this window. So then I'm gonna have to use more color correction, which is not always ideal. Of course, it's a Chevrolet, so here we have a OnStar and all that stuff. I have no idea what this one is for. I'm going to call them one of these days and, and ask. You know, as soon as you walk in, it kind of starts waking up. And uh, I wanted to show you. Let me open the hood and show you under the hood here. Because this engine is never going to look this clean. So I wanted to show it to you guys. Now. It is a V6 direct injection. I do believe it is 3.6 liters, but I'm not sure. Here's the battery. Very cool. Still has that brand new engine smell, which, by the way, I've put almost a thousand miles on it because, you know, I wanted to break it in as fast, as quickly as possible so we could, you know, take it on this, uh, on this road trip that you just did to the Keys, which sole purpose was pretty much, besides relaxing a little bit, you know, um, uh, shake down cruise you know make sure that the weight distribution hitch was okay which at the beginning i had it too tight i love that chevy puts this step here on the rear bumper uh, well that's it that's the chevy colorado i'm gonna i'm gonna show you inside now a little bit uh, you know all the uh, remember to, to to you guys this might be like standard but old kia came with the cassette deck so to me for a car to have like an onboard computer is like it's like really whoa out there. So that's it, 2019 Chevy Colorado LT V6 rear wheel drive. Let's go inside. Let me show you the trip computer. It's really cool. Okay, this is the head unit, which of course I have already customized. You know, you can have d d different users. I am Robert, of course, and it recognizes me when I put the key in the ignition. It has apps like the weather channel. I tried the, um, I, I tried to the, the download the, the iHeartRadio app, but could, could never make it work. But anyways, as you can see, one other reason we are inside the car right now is because out there is 84 degrees, so it's getting a little hot. By the way, the car came with a 4G LTE antenna, and it has a, a data plan that I haven't actually uh, activated yet. I mean, I have, I have the first month, which is a free trial. But what is really cool about this vehicle, it comes with Android Audio. Uh, audio, no, Android Auto. So, I mean, it's going to recognize the phone soon. Here we go. And now I have my phone in um, basically, you know, very limited functionality. But for example, I have maps. So if I wanted to go home, um, you know, and I, it, it works pretty much very similar to, to Google Maps in the sense, uh, you know, it does block certain fun functionality when you're moving. But uh, for the most part, it is, uh, it is, it is the same. We can, you know, that's where we are at, at uh, Madison Park. I don't know why it's not saying the name. There, there Madison Ham Hammock Park. Another functionality here we have uh, the phone functionality, and uh, this is home where it just basically gives you like notifications or recent stuff. Here's my um, my pocket casts. You can do the podcasts. Or you can also, I can change it to Audible if I want, wanted to listen to a book, which I don't have anything in this phone right now. Or a Google Play, which is what I usually use and uh, uh, for, for music playing. So uh, anyways, uh, I could do playlists or that doesn't quite let you search in, in your library, but, um, but it works uh, fairly well, of course. I also have and something that I'm kind of addicted to right now is, uh, is, uh, is Sirius XM and let me lower the volume so we don't get in, in the, into, into copyright issue. But I really, really uh, like a Sirius XM 
and, and here you have your choices to the left and I have my like my my uh, my preferences for radio stations what else does he have well you can turn on the camera towards the back which is really cool because it has trajectory and not only trajectory but if you want if you want to hitch up the trailer it has a, a, a guide you know so, so you know wh where where to, to turn the, the, the trajectory works works amazingly well sometimes I find it easier uh, to park uh, backwards than than uh, you know like, like face in this is the Wi-Fi what else does it have well that's about it and uh, it does have here's uh, the OnStar services Apple CarPlay also has it which I, I, I have an Android phone so I don't use it and then all your apps here and all this goes through that 4G LTE connection which is uh, I believe it's like $20 a month for unlimited internet I am going to uh, connection failure there you go that's not supposed to happen. Well, here to the left, you have your standard uh, brake controller, which you get uh, in the in the screen. There, you get all the settings for your integrated brake controller. It has automatic lights, and um, and then here's the climate control. You have a trailer a trailer in mode, which it lights up there on the, and ba basically just changes the ratio of the gears in your transmission, and then the light, and this is the park assist and the lane departure warning. That's about it. And in general, it's a very pleasant driving experience, uh, the Colorado here. I like it. I hope uh, it lasts as long as old Kia lasted, which was almost 15 years. So I'm going to be way into my 60s by the time this thing dies. All right, before I forget mileage. And uh, the other day, I got 35 miles per gallon coming down from Palm Beach. But I was doing like 50, 55 miles per hour. You know, I was still breaking it in. So, um, but it did, the, the trip computer did say 35 miles per, per gallon, which is like a Prius, <laughs> almost. But okay, real life, going to the Keys this weekend, it fluctuated between the lowest was like 12.5 and the highest, it, it got up to 14, 14 and a half miles per gallon, towing mini teeny. So um, with the tanks fairly full. So um, that's just preliminary, and of course the, the road to the Keys is a, is a slow speed road. I imagine at 65 miles per gallon, I'm gonna be at the lower end of that. But still, it's much better than uh, old Kia, much better than big white. So um, I'm quite happy with the mileage. But then again, uh, we'll, we'll test that more thoroughly as, as we continue traveling. And of course, we're gonna travel to Georgia now very soon, and then in January, all the way to California. Check it out, we're about to hit 1,000 miles. As I passed by the place where I bought the truck in the first place. Isn't that something? There we go. 1,000 miles.